Well, guys, here is a brand new Victoria 2 after action report that I just finished at 3.30 in the morning, as this is another time playing Austria. Now, what was interesting about this game is, it's a challenge that I did. There was a, um, a few months ago, I found a site that had a random, a randomizer that gave random challenges for you to try in the game. You play a country, and it would tell you what um, government you need to have, your um, political party, a country that you need to um, conquer, a country that you need to um, puppet, a country you need to protect, and a country that you know, a territory that you need to control, and also having certain policies in the game too. So this was my attempt as the um, Austria. And as for the policies, I got all the correct policies that the game wanted. Acceptable minimum wage, 8-hour workday, excellent safety regulations, trinket subsidies, low pensions, good health care, good school system, outlawed slavery, appointed upper house, no voting, first past the post, meetings allowed, free press, state control, and gerrymandering. So I got all the policies. Now, in terms of um, states... I was supposed to protect um, South German Federation and Confederation, which I largely did. I did have to go to war with them at some point in the game because they were a great power and they were really keep making it difficult for me to like protect them. So I had to beat them down a pulp, which I did to the point where they became communist. Oh God! So I still protected them. I sphered them and all that. So I consider that an accomplishment. Um, I had to take over. I mean, not destroy Oman, which I did, as you see right here. That was pretty quick. I needed to um, puppet Indra right there, which I did. I had to um, take over all of India, too, from the British, as you can see, just so I can have access to him in case, so I can um, take him over later. So, you see, I took over a whole bunch of India just to fuck over the British some more and to get territory around here because... I was supposed to take over this part of Nepal. No, this part of Nepal. But of course, Nepal is one country, so I had to take them out too. So, I did all the objectives in terms of taking over territory. Now, there were two things I did not succeed in. Well, one of them I did only because I cheated, and that was I was supposed to form Austria-Hungary. And the reason I had to cheat to form it was because of stupid game mechanic. I can't show you right now since... I'm not, I already did the, um, the, um, event, I mean, decision to form Austria-Hungary, but I, it was a bullshit thing where the game actually lied about how to form Austria-Hungary, and when I found out that the game lied to me, I f was doing so good that it would screw me over to form Austria-Hungary the correct way. The game, if I remember correctly, it said in order to form Austria-Hungary, you need to have Italy not exist, no, Italy can't exist and Germany no Germany can't exist and Italy can exist but when I did um when I did all the requirements for it it wouldn't let me do it like it was still grayed out even though I met literally every all the requirements well it turns out that the game the um HUD like if you go into decision pages on the form Austria Hungary it turns out this thing or this thing in particular the um, info how to do it was incorrect. It turns out that you had to do the exact opposite to form Austria-Hungary. It said Prussia, me, I'm Germany can't form. Germany did need to form, and Italy did not need to. I mean, that should not have formed. And at this point in the game, I already crushed Prussia so badly and had South German Confederation already formed that, in order for Germany to form. I would have to basically lose a war with them really, really badly, let them reform and form Germany themselves, and then I would have to um, force fight a war just to make them release the South German Confederation. Yeah, a bunch of pan was, so I decided to just do a um, console command to do it. That honestly is bullshit. The game should not, it should not lie and say you need to do this when the game says in the files itself, no, you have to do the exact opposite. I think it was fair for me to be able to cheat to form Austria-Hungary in that regard, but in the end, I still won't count that as a legitimate, um, legitimate goal. And the other one I failed was, I was supposed to be anarcho-liberal, but 
I can't be anarcho-liberal because there you can't do that as a monarchy. Which, yeah, here you go. You can't, our current form of government doesn't allow um, anarcho-liberals. And I can't change the government unless either a revolution, which I did not want or it never happened for anarcho-liberals, or I had to become democratic and vote them in, but you had to stay, I had, I couldn't allow voting, so that never happened, sadly. But otherwise, it was a fun game. I destroyed France, as you can see, got Ossos Lorraine, got really close to getting all the requirements to form Super Germany, but just couldn't get it as I crushed Russia, see... I took away the Baltic, United Baltic Provinces, Lithuania, Ukraine. We took away Poland Commonwealth. I mean, Poland Lithuania from Prussia. We formed Poland. Switzerland, I made it my puppet. I broke Sardinia and Piedmont away from Italy, made it my puppet. The funny thing about Switzerland is, although I puppet them, they are sphered still by France. That's weird as hell. I took over Su Suez Canal so I could have easy access to India when I got and took care of that. I took over a whole, bunch, <clears throat> a whole bunch of Africa, as you see. Yeah, I just clobbered the crap out of absolutely everyone. That was a fun game, and I hope to do more challenges like this in the future. And hopefully in the future for like a YouTube series or a stream, I'll do one of these challenges maybe for next one after maybe the Bukhar game is over. All right, so that will wrap up this results. And here is the final stands for a night of another game as Austria.